the reason I go all out is because I love it. I love the joy that it brings to my family. Their eyes get big and a big smile comes on their face and I just love to see other people happy and so it makes me happy. I decided to create a bunny garden look for Easter. This was inspired by the fact that I grew up on a farm and so I got a mural and then I just found a brown simple rug. Then I took my bunny collection and created my little bunny workers. I love everything about decorating. I never do the same thing twice. As I'm doing my decorations, I usually honestly have my kids in mind, but I just love that I can share what I love to do with my family and with my friends. I have five kids, and so I, mean, I have to be realistic about you know, what we do, but I kept it fairly inexpensive because I do want my kids to feel like they can eat in the dining room. I decided I want it to be more of a cohesive look in here, so I found bunnies that all looked alike. My favorite decoration is this little bunny with the balloon. I just, I don't know why, but every time I look at this bunny, I, I can't help but smile. It just makes me so, so happy. And I know I've got hundreds and hundreds of bunnies in the house, but for some reason, this one speaks to me. This is the family room. And this is just a very happy, fun room. I think it is so much fun to tell a story with your decor. Items that I collect over the years are always a lot more meaningful. Buy things you love that actually speak to you because you're more likely to use them and keep them over the years. When I'm getting ready to buy something, I say, okay, do I love this? But I would love to have this as a collection. I have repeated the carrot theme just in case my kids didn't get the idea that they're supposed to be eating more vegetables. The thing that inspired the whole look was this glass. I saw that and thought, oh my gosh, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I love these little leaves. I have used these all over in so many of my different decor. Love the bunny plates. I have them in all different colors. Of course, the cabbages. There's a lot. I mean, I think, I think I've probably got at least 3,000 eggs. But if you want to count it all, well, we probably shouldn't count it all because it'd probably be embarrassing. But <laughs> there's a lot. And obviously the focal point of the kitchen is this DIY vase that I made, which I'm actually kind of proud of. It's two vases, so it's a larger vase and then a smaller vase inside. And so obviously your water and the flowers go into the smaller vase, but there's about an inch difference between the smaller and the larger, and that's where we're able to pop in all of our candy. You don't have to spend a ton of money to decorate. You can buy little plastic eggs and do the cutest things with plastic eggs, with jelly beans, things that are inexpensive. Everything that I love for Easter that I didn't find a place for somewhere else. And so it becomes the eyeliner. I affectionately call this area the eyeliner. Different plates and it just kind of becomes a little bit of a free for all. But because I keep it all just as an eyeliner, I think it all flows and works together. I truly believe in making our homes a place where there is joy and where people want to be. Think about the people that you love most and make it an environment for them that they want to be at home.